How's it going everyone? It's John and I've got a review on Mextures, which is one of the smoothest photo editing apps out there. Mextures provides over 70 original textures, yes that's 70, that includes light leaks, film textures, vintage scans, gradients and more. The three buttons here are a camera if I want to take a picture directly from the app, inspiration which will show you a feed of all of the pictures that were taken and edited with this app. You'll see some very nice ones, here's a sunset, a couple other scenic images. But let's hit that X button and, and actually start creating our own, so we'll go to library and choose a picture here. Let's give this one a shot. It's a picture I snapped while I was at Stanford over the weekend. It'll ask you if you don't want to crop it, you can do that, but we'll crop it because it uses Instagram's one by one, so it makes it very easy to crop it into Instagram's ratio here. So now after that, you choose your texture pack. They've got a ton of them here. Radiance, Grit and Grain, Light Leak, some very nice ones. Landscape Enhance. We'll use that one because we are enhancing the landscape, and wow, already right off the bat, it chose one that I really like. I could change things like the opacity here. Make Make it a lot, a lot more, a lot less, and uh, we're, that's almost that's 100% right there. Or going down all the way to, for example, around 10%. You can see the difference there. I think I like it at around 20%. So we'll keep it there. Now I can add a new layer here. I can select the new pack or use the current pack. We'll use the current pack and add a new layer here. You can have multiple layers upon layers upon layers. You'll see the differences here as I start adding multiple layers. Seaside, springtime. They've got a ton of nice options here. Sunrise. Vignette, so some of them I'm probably not pronouncing right, but they've got some very fancy, nice names. I think I like Blue Skies. That one makes it pop. We'll go to about 20% for that one too. And then add another layer, but we'll select the new pack for this one, and we'll do Grit and Grain. There's Blizzard. I'm doing 100% on all these just so that you can see the uh, effect right, right off the bat without having to kind of squint because if I change the opacity down, you may not be able to see it. Uh, this one looks really cool, Marble. Let's try this one out at around 100 uh, Let's do 90%. I think 100% is a little too much. And uh, when we're done, all we do is uh, hit this button right here or we can hit this one which will give us the blending modes. And then you've got more options here like Multiply, Soft Light, Normal, Darken, Lighten. Color Dodge looks pretty awesome, so we'll choose that one, and then we can go ahead and hit that button that I just did right there, and it's going to give us a few options to share it off, so if I hit this share button, it'll let me share it to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or email it, hit it again here so that you can see the other options, I should have shown those before, but it takes a few seconds here, and uh, I can save it to the photo library, open it, or uh, save the current formula for later use, let's save that. Have you noticed there's no undo button? Well that's the beauty of this app. You can go back 50 steps if you'd like. All you have to do is got that like Photoshop type layers. So if I want to delete this layer here, I can hit that X button and it'll delete that layer and it'll go back as many as many steps as you like and it's very nice. And like I said, you can save your custom edits when you're done as formulas for future use. And it does come preloaded with 40 custom formulas that sets you off right off the bat. Now bottom line, Mextures is a must have if you want an easy way to make your picture look great. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button down below as it really does help us out, as well as subscribing so you're notified of our future videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Alright, see ya.